this is a video that was made for a uh, uh, an application for an award, which we did not win. Vayu is the Hindu god of wind. A ventilator is there. Is that good, everyone? Ex machina, wind or breath from the machine. We are a group of volunteer engineers who are addressing the global shortage of ventilators by developing a standard set of electronics. Many other groups are working on the mechanical design of ventilators, and we want to complement them. Our design will be rugged, reliable, and readily transferable to manufacturing by engineers in developing countries. The global shortage of ventilators is huge, with no prospect of being filled by existing products at existing prices, especially since networks of distribution and service do not exist where the need is. Our approach reaches further than the creation of a single ventilator design as other projects are doing. We design to support the development of an ecology of manufacture and support for life critical equipment like ventilators. We take inspiration from the personal computer industry, how its culture of sharing information allowed engineers outside the technical elite to learn from each other, develop standards and build a thriving ecology that included the user in product support and software development. Our design will be a reference design, which later ranks of engineers can use to implement their version for manufacture. Reference designs are common tools that provide workable examples of implementation using sophisticated parts. Engineers can improve on them, but much of the work is already done. An important tool for use with reference designs are simulators that will allow adaptations to be tested against the intended performance while still in the design process. We have already developed a simulator software package adaptable to a wide range of pneumatic designs with which any modification of the electronic design can be tested. We are also developing a control panel design in a format that can interoperate with the simulator. This will provide a functional simulation of the ventilator design and its user interface, allowing clinicians to experience the device's operation and provide input for final designs. Our design will support design work for manufacturers who are not yet full capability medical instrument producers, but who can perform electromechanical assembly from certain levels. These manufacturers will require support on common issues like parts qualification and procurement, test development, and agency qualification of designs. We will be positioned to provide help in these areas as the infrastructure develops. At present, we are a volunteer group and will need to expand in order to succeed. As we move forward, it will be necessary to raise funds for tools, facilities, and support services. We will be working with other volunteer organizations and will be reporting as we make progress. Thank you very much, Lee. There is a hole at the bottom of math. Whoops. A hole that means we will never know everything. Went to the next video. Right. Oh. I, th I think I should, uh, am I on? Hi, yeah, you're on. I'm sorry, I was having a technical problem. Um, thank you very much, Lee. Um, and thank you for making a short video. Uh, I think we have a little bit of, of time here. Um, uh, uh, Luis Eric Samard asked, how do you make sure 3D printed parts can tolerate medical field sterilization? That is probably a question for Edwin. Um, Edwin, maybe rather than interrupting Lee, you could just type in the answer to that question in the chat channel. And then um, uh, Gerald Paul Douglas uh, asked, what is the difference between a pinch valve and a proportional solenoid? So if you could um, please uh, um, answer those questions there. Um, so, uh, Lee, can you maybe describe um, uh, um, describe what a reference implementation is and how a, a team maybe outside the United States would use it to build a ventilator based on the work that you're doing? Sure. The reference designs are used widely in uh, electronics today. A uh, chip manufacturer will design a, a, uh, an application of it, say the sample use, and they will actually build that. Previously, in fact, they still do it. They would just write this up 
they would give it to a junior engineer to do and never test it. But reference designs are tested and built. And in fact, uh, very often the manufacturer will sell uh, a board that includes the, uh, the reference design on it. Uh, the design engineer who's going to use that reference design uh, very often will simply copy what they have there and drop it into their design. Uh, they ought to uh, modify it because the reference designs come with the equations and uh, design uh, principles so that uh, you know, it, it's a kind of a kit for incorporating the product into the design that's underway. So we're going to be doing a full ventilator set of electronics. And to do that, we'll have to build a ventilator, our idea of a ventilator, to go with it. We would rather do that with a ventilator someone else designs. Uh, and we're going to prove the design by building several of those, but we're not going to manufacture ventilators. We want to get the design out into use. Uh, and we envision a network of exchange of information uh, in the field, we do want to have manufacturer ventilators performed regionally close to the, the uh, points of use, because uh, when you use it, you need to support it. You need to have people who can uh, uh, service it and repair it, uh, etc. Uh, our use case is uh, the uh, a field hospital in the Kalahari Desert, uh, which we postulate in order to give us the, the sort of most stressful conditions. Okay, thank, thank you very much. And um, this, this may be obvious, but this whole um, conference is sort of geared towards open source solutions. In, in this case, Lee, someone could use your reference um, design without having to pay you any money. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, we built the personal computer movement by uh, sharing designs, nobody thought of it, had any means of protecting it. And uh, as I say, my, my video architecture design, which we're all using now, was not protected and therefore widely used and copied. I did a product on that, that was wi widely copied, and it became a standard. So do we want that to happen. Right, right. Okay, thank you very, very much. I cannot speak for every team that's here. Um, we're going to have a legal panel um, licensing can get a little tricky, but most of the teams and everything done by public invention here is, is done with a, a true open source license, which allows other people to not only utilize the work, but also to improve it, as long as they don't monopolize it uh, for themselves. Okay, there are some details around that we'd have to talk to.